an adverse event. Okay. Okay. Like you may have to read in the progress notes what the doctor writes, because when the doctors write progress notes, they write a lot of details that sometimes the coordinators don't read. Okay, so they, the coordinator might not even see the doctor's progress notes. They, you know, usually doctors write a note like patient came in today, um, complained of, uh, you know, history of uh, chest pain, complained today of nausea. So maybe that coordinator didn't read that, that the patient complained of nausea. Okay? okay, so then in the adverse event, because that should be adverse event, in the adverse event, you're not going to see anything. Okay. And then in the EDC, of course, you're not going to see anything. But that doesn't mean that there was no adverse event. Okay, so you're expected as a CRA to read everything, all the progress notes, everything that the site writes, and and then verify that. And that's when you would query. That's when you would query in the adverse events for this patient. You would query um, probably somewhere where they'll read it, like here on the, um, probably here, because I can't query there. So here, where it says yes, I would say missing um, nausea from progress note dated, you know, whatever date it was. Okay, and then And then you would put that in your report too. Okay, so that's, that's really where the, it gets complicated becoming a CRA. It's not really these platforms. These platforms are not, complicated like once you play with them they're easy it's really looking at what the site should be doing and compare that to what the protocol says right like another thing is visit windows so so between visit windows okay there's like let's say the protocol says uh 30 days plus or minus seven days okay so then you'll go in the source and you actually have to count on your calendar when was visit two when was visit three? Okay, was there a deviation? Because sometimes they don't trigger it automatically. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't, like especially for visit windows, okay? Uh, another thing might be con meds. A lot of these con meds, this is where Google's gonna have to help you a lot. Like, let's look at an example here. Or any depot antipsychotic at any time prior to visit one, okay? So let's say they put no, and then in here in the EDC, it's gonna say no too. Okay, but what if you look through the records of the patient <clears throat> and you find that that's not the case? Okay, or you notice here it says any depot antipsychotic. So, you know, you don't know what that means, but what if in the records you see Seroquel written down? Oh, wow. Okay. But then you have to know, okay, well, what's Seroquel? Let me look. So then you just Google, okay, Seroquel, you're gonna say, and then you're gonna say, I hope this is not antipsychotic. I really hope it's not. And then you're gonna find out is a psychotropic, so it's antipsychotic. Okay, see if it says here antipsychotic. So then you the site is screwed in this case. Okay. Oh, okay. And then you, they're depending on you to find that, not the system. The system can't find this. Oh, I see. You know, so things like this is where, and if you miss this, like that's a big, that's considered a big thing that you miss. That's another issue. Like in this case, right? You can make the argument that this site because they're not having progress notes. I mean, that's an issue. That's a violation of Alcoa-C, right? Um, um, original, okay, where's yes. the, where's the, uh, where, so you would query this in here, you know, somewhere, probably in the visit one, wherever you can, okay? Um, query it here, and you put CRA, did not see a progress note, please file, okay? And then that's how I would, yeah, that's how I would document that I queried it. But these okay. little things, these little things in the inclusion exclusion, you know, you have to query this. So you can't miss, these are the big things. You can't miss the inclusion exclusion criteria. Um, okay. That's the biggest thing. And the next most important thing is protocol deviations. Anything that's, the uh, protocol deviations are put in there. Uh, you know, protocols are written in such a way as to not harm the subjects or uh -huh. to collect certain data and exclude other data sets. Okay. So you're, it's either a safety thing or an efficacy thing or both. You know, okay. the sponsor does not want to see deviations. The sponsor even less so wants to see CRAs missing deviations. Okay. Um, and then inclusion exclusion criteria is 
uh, a safety, 100% safety issue for the patients or, or data integrity. Articles are written in such a way to be safe for the patients or to, and or to provide certain data points the sponsors are looking at while excluding others. Okay, so you don't want to screw up with the study by missing these things and you will not find it by just SDV. Uh, that's the sponsor. The sponsor writes the protocol and then an I IRB, yeah, an IRB has to approve it. So the, when the IRB approves it, they're looking for ethical things like safety and ethics. But then the FDA has to approve it too. And the FDA has to approve the protocol to make sure that the sponsor is not trying to cherry pick certain populations. Right? As a CRA, you will not interact with patients, um, but you will be doing you know, all of this, which in a way is you have an impact on patient safety because let's say for example, vital signs, okay? Um, let's say you notice something unusual in the vitals, like uh, uh, 93 over 58. I mean, this is a low blood pressure. This is a high, this is a high uh, heart rate, but you have to remember this oncology, okay? So uh, let's say this was not oncology. This is like an outpatient study, okay? I mean, this would possibly be um, hypotension um, or um, elevated heart rate, which could possibly be an adverse event. Okay, and and then you would compare this to the previous visit to see if it's a big change. Okay, and then you're gonna query, and maybe you're gonna bring it to the attention of the PI, like, hey, maybe they missed something. Okay, so you can actually catch things as a CRA that directly impact patient safety. Basically, when you, like your first day, like when they give you the protocol, become an expert at that protocol and become an expert on that indication.